I'm on the Icefields Parkway today, but as you can see, it is the middle of winter and it is a balmy minus 30. That morning, we woke up early to a not particularly inviting temperature reading on the car. We started the day off with road trip snacks, caffeine and more caffeine, and then started our drive from Jasper to Banff. Personally, I think the Icefields Parkway is actually more photogenic in winter. Unfortunately, we have blue skies today, so the photography might be a bit of a struggle, but it's still definitely worth an explore. It really changes, so rather than photographing those kind of iconic lakes or even certain waterfalls that are all now frozen solid, it actually opens up some completely different locations. One good thing about the Icefields Parkway in winter is that it is just so quiet. You can kind of pull over on the side of the road nice and safely and get some really epic shots just using the road as a leading line. But as well as that, we'll be exploring some different frozen waterfalls and different compositions. So stick around if you want to see what it's like exploring the Icefields Parkway in the depths of winter. So the first stop of the day, we've pulled over just past the Athabasca Falls turnoff. And if you look down the road here behind me, you can see Mount Christie. So just shooting with a longer lens from here, pulling over on the side of the road, you can get a really nice composition just shooting down the road. Hoping for a bit of a sunrise, has a little bit of light on the peaks, but maybe it's not quite the optimal time of year for that, but got the big lens out, let's see how it goes. I thought we'd come and show you Sun Wapta Falls. You can see it just down here below. But when it's fully frozen, I don't think it's the most photogenic. And it is absolutely freezing today. I think you can see already that like, my beard is frozen and all we've done is walk probably like, what, 100 meters from the car to here. But I just really wanted to come and show you it, even though I don't think I'm gonna take a picture. The incredibly cold weather was definitely making sightseeing and photography a little less appealing. However, as we spotted good light and pleasing compositions in the road, I found the motivation to jump out of the warm car and bear the extreme temperatures to get a few shots. Tangle Peak that you might just be able to see behind me there is another very worthy stop on the Icefield Parkway in winter. You can get some really good compositions using the kind of braided rivers that run uh, to the right hand side of the road here, using those as leading lines. But to be honest with you, it is just so cold today that I'm not going to jump into the snow and venture out to try and find that composition. I just don't think it's going to be worth it, especially with the light being quite harsh now. So what I'll do is I'll pop up a picture from a few years ago. Uh, that I actually took at sunrise, just to give you an example of what is possible here. Uh, I actually changed my mind. You can see Tangle Peak behind me here. Uh, we just drove a little bit further down the road near Beauty Creek actually, and I just saw this really distinct path running to the river. So I am gonna pull over and just grab that shot really quickly if I can. Um, the light's not the best, but I think it might still be nice. And it's just really nice like frost on all the trees and everything as well. So I think I might be able to get a couple shots here in the end. So you might be able to see, got this really nice hoar frost on the, uh, on the top of the river here. That's when the kind of the moisture in the air, I believe, freezes onto the ground. So you get these really distinct, like little almost flower patterns. So I think if I get really low, maybe do a bit of a focus stack, I might be able to get quite a cool shot of the peak. Main challenge is gonna be getting the tripod out in this cold. <music> it 
don't know if you can see that, that's 10 minutes outside I reckon. And look at this moustache already, absolutely ridiculous. The Beauty Creek area offers some great composition opportunities. Frozen trees, open water, and leading lines. As there was a tour group at this spot before I turned up, I didn't want to get in the way of others too much. I did, however, still manage to quickly grab a few images. This is a spot I'll definitely be returning to. We carried on down the parkway, passing creeks, roadside waterfalls, snowy peaks and glaciers. We've just pulled over just past the Columbia ice fields, uh, just kind of north of it. Like during the summer, that would really be like a bussing location, like full of tourists and buses everywhere, but it's all closed and it's all snowed in. But what I really like is actually coming further up the road and shooting back towards the kind of visitor center. And that visitor center is just completely dwarfed by the mountains behind it. So it makes us some cool shots. Whilst on the parkway, I always pull over here at the Parker Ridge uh, parking lot. It's just the start of the trailhead, but what I'm here for really is Hilda Peak in the background here. It's one of the most distinctive peaks on the parkway, and in winter or summer, it makes us some great photos. Personally, I think in the winter, the Icefields Parkway is all about pulling over and actually getting those roadside shots and photographing the road itself. I find this location can always produce some great results. Whether it be in sunshine and blue skies, or in the middle of a snowstorm. So this next stop is probably one of my favourites actually on the Icefield Parkway in winter. I'm not actually going to give too much detail about exactly where it is, or what it's called. Um, just because I think that this spot might actually get really overcrowded in the, in the next few years as more and more people kind of see it on Instagram and want to discover where it is. But if you're interested in it, just like, you know, leave a comment or send me a DM on Instagram or something and I can help you out. But yeah, wait until you see where we're going. I suppose one reason why I'm not going to go into too much detail about exactly where this location is, is it's actually pretty treacherous. Like the, the approach is down a kind of a steep snow bank and there's a lot of ice and you know the icicles here are a bit softer this year and they are kind of falling a bit. You need spikes, you need poles, you need a little bit of knowledge about moving in the mountains. So it's not the kind of spot I want to advertise to everybody and have loads of people turn up who aren't prepared. But if you are a bit more prepared, feel free to uh, you know get in contact and I can help you out with finding the location. But it is pretty impressive. You can see you kind of have these ice formations and miniature caves all over the place. So it does make for some good photography. So Mount Chevron here as well, I think is another really good place to stop. Um, I've seen some great pictures taken from here with like open water and leading lines, and maybe it's too far into winter and everything's frozen, but I can just never find that spot. So if anyone does know where the best place to take pictures of Mount Chevron is, um, yeah, leave them in the comments below. One last roadside pullover for the day. Yeah, obviously not recommended if it is like super busy, but this is just south of Bow Lake. 
And just down the end of the road there, we have Crowfoot Peak. And again, great shots just to shoot straight down the road. With this one, I recommend using like a 70 mil and maybe even shooting a bit of a vertical panorama to fit it all in. Going to uh, wrap things up today at Bow Lake. This is our last stop on the Icefields Parkway uh, coming from Jasper towards Banff. As you can see, it is just a blanket of white at the moment. So it's not the best time to come for photography, but just to come and see it, it is still worthwhile. In early winter or in summer, you've got reflections and lots of foreground options. So it's probably better visited around then. However, the Icefields Parkway is still fantastic in winter. I think the road itself is more scenic with snow on the mountains and on the road, just driving through it is more than worth it. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video about the Icewoods Parkway in winter. Any questions about where to visit or where to go, feel free to leave that in the comments below, but I will see you on the next one. <laughs>